Welcome. Today we're just going to talk about how to deal with equations that come up in physical science. Right now this is a really easy basic equation. Speed equals distance over time. And our first problem asks us to calculate the speed of a dog if it was running and it covered about 30 meters in 4 minutes. Now one of the good things that you should try and get in the habit of doing is writing down your variables. So in this case I'm looking for speed. Oh, let me grab my pen here and we'll write speed equals and then I have the distance or I can just abbreviate and write D and I have time. Those are my three variables that I need to deal with and in this case I notice up here it's 30 meters and I know that meters tells us it's a distance so I'm going to write 30 and I'm going to abbreviate meters as M. The speed is what we're looking for so I'm going to put a question mark there and then in time is four minutes. So I'm using the units that are given to help know what variable I'm looking at in this case. And then of course I would just write, uh, write down my equation, speed equals distance over time, and then I can just fill in the units that are given. 30 meters over four minutes and I'm always writing down my units at this point in time. And I'm going to just go ahead and use the calculator here and do 30 divided by 4, which equals, if I grab my pen again, I now have V equals 7.5 meters per minute. Not a normal unit that we would see, but we're definitely going to make sure we write down our units. And at this point, it didn't ask us to convert it or anything else, so we're going to leave it as this point. Leave it like that. Now we can also do a couple of other things for it. In this case, it tells us how much time does it take for a student running at an average speed of 5 meters per second to cover a distance of 2 kilometers. Well, first thing I notice as I'm looking this at here and reading this is that I have two different units of distance. So I have kilometers or kilometers and I have meters so I'm going to have to change that and make them equal each other so the first thing I'm going to write down is right my speed so all my variables again and distance and time in this case we know the speed the speed happens to be five meters per second the distance in this case is 2 km and the time is question mark so I need to change this km into meters. So if you remember, we can do a basic conversion factor. And I know that 1,000 meters equals 1 kilometer. And notice how I put down my units first, make sure that they can cancel out. So I'm left with that. And now if I go over to my calculator, well, we don't really need the calculator, do we? 2 times 1,000 is 2,000. So we're now at 2,000 meters. Now all of my units are the same, so now I can just go ahead and plug in my equation, right? So I have speed equals distance over time. Let's get rid of that. Oh. Got my eraser there. Ooh, don't know what's happening there. See if we can make this work. Nope, apparently not. All right, hold on. All right, so I was able to erase that. So let's continue here. Then we're going to say speed equals distance over time. But in this case, I need to find time. So I can do a couple of things. I could do my nice little triangle here. And if I do that, then I know that it's speed, distance, time. And I can cover up one of the two. So if I can cover up this, if I'm finding time, it would be distance over speed. If I take speed and cover it up, it's distance over time. If I want to cover up distance and find distance, then it would be speed times time. So in this case, I'm going to 
say that we're going to rearrange the equation, and I always show what I'm doing. So in this case, I know that T equals D over S. And in that case, I'm going to just fill in our nice little thing here. And our distance is 2,000 meters divided by 5 meters per second. And then if I go over and let's do 2,000 divided by 5, and that gives us an answer of 400. We'll grab again our nice little pen here and we'll write down 400. And in this case, it's seconds. Meters cancel out with each other. So now I have my time is 400 seconds. Hopefully this helps you. Have a wonderful time.